Imagine a state of absolute nothingness. A void where the universe and everything else does not exist. With our current understanding of physics, absolute nothingness seems unachievable, given that even the so-called empty space has quantum activities bustling within. But what if we could really have nothing at all? Absolutely no quantum fields, no particles, no universal laws, an epitome of emptiness. In this boundless void, imagine you could add elements. You could create rules for this universe, such as gravitation, rule of causality in entropy. Or you could add dimensions, or introduce something else entirely. No matter how you manipulate this emptiness, the one constant that holds is mathematics. If you add one element, then another, you invariably end up with two. Often regarded as an abstract system, mathematics doesn't rely on the universe. Rather, it serves as a conceptual framework, delineating relationships between entities. All our mathematical concepts would still be valid even in this absolute void. Take the value of pi for instance. Even if your universe exists in a single dimension, the concept of a circle in a two-dimensional space is conceivable. The ratio of the circle's circumference to its diameter remains the constant 3.1415. Irrespective of the universe you envision. Pi, among other irrational numbers, exists even in absolute nothingness. These numbers are infinite, non-repeating, and it's believed, although not proven, that every possible number sequence appears somewhere in their decimal expansion. They contain all conceivable data, your phone number, your friend's number, literally everything. Go far enough down the decimal line and you'll stumble upon it. And you will find texts, pictures, and computer programs as well, since these can be encoded into binary format or decimal format. As you can see, let's briefly touch on the concept of simulation. Hypothetically, if we developed a sufficiently advanced computer, we could simulate the entire universe, provided we understand its fundamental building blocks. People within this simulation would perceive their world as we do ours, real. The simulation could operate at any speed, but the inhabitants would always experience time in the same way. Now, what if I told you that the simulation need not run at all? Suppose running the simulation produced a log file of every state, and this was generated infinitely fast. Wouldn't this be equivalent to just having the simulation program and the log file coexist on a hard drive? As it turns out, time is merely an illusion. Nothing needs to be running for the world to appear real to its inhabitants. The illusion of time persists for them. In modern computing, a simulation program and its log file would be stored in binary format, zeros and ones. But the same data can be encoded in any numerical base, like our decimal system with numbers from 0 to 9. Are you beginning to see the connection? A simulation of our universe, meticulously encoded in decimal format. Can you guess where this might exist? Pi. That's right. Our entire universe resides within Pi. And countless other universes too. Technically it would not have to be encoded in decimal format. Pi can be expressed as a binary or in any other base as well. Decimal format just happens to be what we humans are used to. Returning to our initial question, what if there was no universe at all? What if there was only nothingness? The surprising answer may be that there actually is nothing, and there never was. It's just Pi and other irrational numbers which contains an endless amount of different simulated universes and we just happen to live within one. If you found this video thought-provoking, please give it a thumbs up, drop a comment, or subscribe to our channel for more. Until next time.